So, uh, good evening. Uh, today we're going to talk about my uh, Music Man Stingray. It's, uh, well, it's a classic. It's, it's a living legend, except it's not living because it's a piece of wood with metal on it, but let's not go there. Um, everyone who plays bass and uh, everyone who knows about these sorts of things knows that the Music Man Stingray was one of the real, you know, originals, one of the real, real classics. And uh, I really wanted to get a classic bass, like a solid, no-nonsense rock that I could, well, rock <laughs> with. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, went to a music shop, I went to the bass seller on Denmark Street in London. Uh, very nice guys, they gave me a really good price. I tried, th I tried this bass out, I tried out a couple of Fenders, and uh, well, this one fit right for me. I'm sure there's other lovely Fender basses out there, but this is the one that worked for me. And uh, yeah, it's... It really is just so simple. One big-ass pickup here, the so-called Music Man pickup, I wonder why. Um, Two-band EQ, volume. Um, they also had the three-band EQ model, but I, I just wanted something as simple as possible. And this one had one less knob, so and it was a bit cheaper, so I was like, yeah, I'll get this one. Um, I've used it for God knows how many gigs um, with a couple of the other bands I play with. And if I ever have any like session work that might look weird with me showing up with a six-string bass, I'll just take the Stingray along, nice and inoffensive and uh, not confusing. Oh, I thought a bass only has four strings. Why does it have six strings? And when I can't be bothered to deal with questions like that, I was like, just like, this is my Stingray. But they probably won't know what a Stingray is. It's like, oh, it doesn't look like a fish. Uh, anyway, um, I'll show myself out. No. Um, so, uh, yeah, totally simple, really solid, deep, powerful sound. Um, again, kind of like the Warwick I have, it's not the most versatile bass out there. I mean, it's, it, you can make it sound very differently depending on what technique you're playing with. Kind of like if you're really digging in, you get that. But I mean, if you play with your hand closer, to, closer towards the bridge, you get a different sound. Or up by the neck like uh, Geezer Butler does. And uh, yeah, it, it really responds to how you're playing. I mean, my strings are a bit old, so not picking up a lot of the nuances there. But yeah, it's um, it's a, it's a simple bass, and it does its job really well. Um, I'm I'm very happy I got it. It's uh, it's it's been a very useful useful tool um, in uh, in the other musical stuff I do. And uh, yeah, I could. Definitely recommend it to people. I mean, that's why I have it. If it was crap, I wouldn't own it. I like wouldn't be making a video about it. So yeah, uh, Music Man Stingray, classic, total. And uh, the first thing you do when you get one of these is you have to play classic rock. So the good thing is uh, I play in one of the bands, uh, one of the other bands I play in, we, in uh, Neon Nights, as they're called. We uh, play lots of classic rock songs and. We do a bit of Zeppelin, the Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, um, some of the older Judas Priest stuff, and it fits in everywhere. It really does. It's just, it's like the sound of that era, even though all these other players are using different basses. This, this one just sounds right for that kind of thing. But also, it sounds really good for metal as well. I mean, um, you can play uh, your, old, your old Iron Maiden songs on there and stuff, and yeah, it all sounds good. If you're ever around a music shop that sells one of these, or several of these, um, just try it out. And um, it's it's really different from uh, other similar basses. There's just something about it, the way it's made. The construction is just so good. The neck is so smooth. It's um, there's something special about it. 
And uh, those of you who own like Music Man basses and I, I guess guitars, I don't know about those, but anyone who, like you guys who own like Music Man basses, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's just a something, uh, something about it that the the guys the guys in Music Man Factory do. Well, maybe they put like I don't know like LSD in them or something. That'd be funny. Um, please don't sue me. Um, so yeah, uh, check them out, and uh, yeah, you could do a lot worse than a uh, one of these badasses. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. It means a lot to us. Uh, subscribe to the channel to see all the other stuff we're going to be putting out. Um, check out our album 4. Uh, it's on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, all that stuff. Um, as, long, as well as all our other stuff. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon.